Hey guys, Shimbo Evan here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys is a 100% lossless melon farm. This is a design made by Mumbo Jumbo. Of course, a link to his channel will be in the description. Of course, the video uh, that he made on this will be in the description too. So this is a showcase video, guys. And pretty much this farm does work, and still it still does work in 1.8. Surprisingly, how it's built way way before 1.8, which is pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, it's still working. This farm is actually it's still really, really efficient for some odd reason. I don't really know why it's working. It makes kind of no sense how it does work. Like, I, these mechanics kind of look a little bit weird. But, like, I'm going to show you the process really quickly. Let's just go ahead and take out, like, all these diamonds and put them in here just so we can do a little test here. So this is how the farm works. So it should do that. And then pretty much how this works is... It, like, sends it over top there, in a way. Like, I don't even get how that's possible, but pretty much the cart goes over top of this thing, and then it goes back, which is pretty sick. And then, of course, you will get all your mel melons coming in here. Like, after after about five or six minutes or something like that, you will get, like, literally probably nine stacks of melons, which is pretty sick at once, which is actually really, really cool. So it's, like, it's kind of like a stock-up scenario or whatever that the farm does. And it's pretty cool. So Mumbo Jumbo, I believe he invented this mechanic of how it actually does that. How it like gets pushed and like launches itself all the way there. Whoa, that lag, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, how it actually just goes through here. And I don't even know why it's lagging so much. Oh my god, the lag just broke the machine. Oh my god, that's the only problem about this machine. Is, like the lag like breaks it sometimes. I believe I touched it. That might have been it. Yes, I did touch it. How I went over here and I touched it. It just wrecked. It just wrecked the machine. Oh my god. Um, that is not good. But yeah. So all the other machines are uh, working perfectly, guys. I don't believe the lag wrecked it. I believe it was me. As you guys have seen, I kind of pushed it a little bit. So I don't think. I, I believe that's why. As you guys can see, all the other ones are working fine. Um, so yeah, this is working as I said before and all that stuff. Uh, pretty much what it uses, guys, is pretty much a uh, hopper timer right over here, and it uses. Uh, pretty much where it breaks it, and then after it breaks it, there's also pistons over here uh, that help it out. And of course, the minecart, how it goes, it pretty much launches through here and goes on top of that soil and then launches back. I find that really, really cool, and a really, really cool thing that Mumbo Jumbo made himself and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, just don't touch it like I did before there. And yeah, and then he has all these, of course, all these hoppers and stuff like that. Uh, I I don't even think you should build this to be honest. It's really cost efficient iron. Uh, sorry, it really costs a lot of iron and stuff like that. And unless you have like 50 iron farms, then maybe sure build this if you like. But especially how I use iron blocks here. Of course, you don't need iron blocks, but he built it for the decoration and everything like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it on this showcase, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, a like would of course really be appreciated. And if you really enjoyed this video, guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure to apply to the Jim Webin Craft Network for a seventy percent revenue share. But that's gonna be it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.